So this is the Shimmy Sim there, so you can get it on the internet. Uh, and I know uh, my brother who lives in Cape Town in South Africa went to a meeting of these people and said that they were uh, extremely sussed out politically. Um, and my brother is a veteran of the anti-apartheid struggle. So no. I think he does kind of know what he's talking about a bit. Uh, <clears throat> I just wanted to read a couple of paragraphs. Uh, so remember these are Israeli refuseniks and peace activists. The occupation creates an unbearable actuality for the Palestinians in the occupied territories. The checkpoint policy, land annexation, the building of the apartheid wall, paving of roads for Israelis only, settlement projects, assassinations, all these have been so destruction in the West Bank for over four decades. The siege on Gaza and the prevention of importing materials, including basic food products and humanitarian aid, undermines the basic minimal living conditions of Gaza's residents. We cannot tolerate such a reality. The Israeli government frequently boasts that Israel is the only democracy in the Middle East. The occupation is a complete contradiction of this claim. Can a government that controls the lives of millions of people who did not take part in elections be called a democracy?